Hey everybody, Joel here. I want to ask you a question. Can you imagine how noisy the world would be if we could hear everybody's negative self-talk in their head? I wanted to talk to you about that today and I picked a very special location, which is my gym here, because I find that when I do do my workouts, I come here, I decompress, and I get all the negative talk out of my head before I start my day. Uh, and that's what I want to talk to you about, is all of us, even the best entrepreneurs in the world suffer from some level of mental illness. I got that from a friend Jesse yesterday and it's so true. Now there's varying degrees, but I think we all suffer, especially the valedictorians of the world, especially the perfectionists of the world, suffer massively from negative self-talk. And perfection creates massive procrastination. Just as an example, shooting this video, couple of you know negative self talks I went in my head oh should I be wearing a now lifestyle t-shirt is that unprofessional should I not be wearing a nice nicer shirt or should I shoot it in the gym or should I not you know we all suffer from those negative debilitating things in our head like and and it's 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 really fucking horrible it's 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 not fun but realize this, and this is how you deal with it because you've got to. If you want to see any level of success whatsoever in anything, you've got to get over that and turn those negative thought pass patterns into massive action. So this is what helped me is I was at a Tony Robbins event once and, you know, Tony Robbins asked, okay, I want you to all to write down the top five things you're more, most fearful of. And, you know, some of the top five were public speaking, uh, the fear of failure, the fear of success, the fear of not being able to take care of your family. And when he, you know, posed those questions and I said, and he said like, Hey, everybody who, um, is a fear of public speaking, put up your hand. Of course, 80% of the room put up their hand. How many people here have a fear of not being able to take care of their families? Of course, 90% of the people put up their hand. Right. And he goes, see, it's not your brain. It's the human brain. And so the first step that helped me get past this is to realize that we're not alone. You're not alone. We all have those negative thought patterns about ourselves. And guess what? You don't know my negative thought patterns and I don't know your negative thought patterns and who gives a shit? Like literally, it doesn't matter because those are thought patterns in your head only. So. The key is to welcome them, okay? Don't push them away because they happen to everybody. They happen to me on a daily basis. It's just that, so you welcome them in. Then what I do is I say, thank you brain for your bullshit. Now it's time for me to move forward. It's time for me to take action. It's time for me not to care about those negative thought patterns, which really in general is a lot about whether you're going to have acceptance, you know, is this video going to be accepted? Is it going to be watched by 30 people or 500 people? Are some people going to leave a negative comment? Uh, you know, a lot of things go through your head. And so you just say, okay, thank you. I, I, I appreciate what you're telling me brain, but false evidence appearing real fear, right? False evidence appearing real. And then you just do what you know deep down what you need to do to get your life, your business, your relationships, your family to the next level. We all suffer from it. And that helped me so much when I realized, hey, hey Joel, you're not the only dude out there, the only woman out there who's like, you know, just off the charts with like, I can't do this. Or what if, what if, what if somebody says this? Or what if this? Or what if my t-shirt's dirty? Or what if my hair's a mess? Or what if they see the wrinkles under my eyes, right? So thank you very much. Fuck off. It's time for me to move forward. Thank you, brain. Appreciate the uh, feedback, but I don't need that feedback right now because I deserve a better life.